Stay back. The door's locked and sealed. You can't get in. We heard all of the fighting, and we heard you talking to that freak, Krell. We're not coming out until you swear you won't hurt us. Just open the door, let's talk about this. But we're not cyborgs. I, I know if I was some half-machine freak. This is insane. You out there, listen. I'm not sure about these others, but I can assure you that I'm not a cyborg. What? Are you calling me a freak like Krell? I, I am not a freak. Maybe you're the cyborg and you're trying to trick everyone. I am not! He spent far more time operating on you than he did on me, so if anyone's... Both of you, stop it! None of us are cyborgs. That's all there is to it. There's just no way to tell for sure, ma'am. This is insane! Even if a few of us are cyborgs, would you really murder all of us just to be sure none of the cyborgs escape? You're right. This is absurd. I can't do this. Then, you won't hurt us. You'll let us go. Give me your names and identification numbers and I'll let you go. What? So you can track us all down and kill us later? No way! If it gets us out of here alive, then it's worth it. We'll put the information on a data pad for you, soldier. Okay. Stand back. I'm going to open the door. Here's the data pad, soldier. Thank you for sparing us. Let's go home, everyone. Stay safe out there. Thanks again, soldier. Farewell. Lieutenant, my orders were perfectly clear. Eliminate Krell cyborgs. With all due respect, General, I could not obey those orders. My orders are not polite suggestions, Lieutenant. You don't choose to follow them. You follow them. Lieutenant, when you are on a mission, you listen to my orders. Then your brain, then your heart, in that order. There's no room for sentiment in our line of work. There should be similarly little room for it in you, or we're doomed to fail. If we are heartless, what separates us from the Empire? We are heartless, so that the people of the Republic don't have to be, Lieutenant. So that the Republic does not become the Empire. Always remember that. Return to my office now. We need to discuss your next assignment. Garza out. Ah, Lieutenant. I trust no more needs to be said about your work against the Migrant Merchants Guild. Let's move on to your next target, the Black Sun. A powerful organization composed of Coruscant's most violent criminals. Black Sun has a wide network of sources providing them with the deadliest weaponry available, including a powerful nerve agent that they're selling to Tavis in bulk. Just what is this stuff capable of? I don't have the exact specifications on hand, but it's among the most deadly nerve gases in existence. You'll need to be cautious. A Spec 4 Sergeant Jaxo has carried out some advanced reconnaissance of Black Sun's headquarters. You'll rendezvous with her for a detailed plan of attack. We can't risk any of this nerve gas falling into Tavis's hands, Lieutenant. Use all necessary force. Dismissed. Hey there, you must be the new Havoc CO. I'm Jaxo. It's good to meet you. It's good to meet you too, Sergeant. Hope you're ready for some fun, Lieutenant. You've got your work cut out for you. Your highly enviable task is to destroy a cache of nerve gas canisters that the Black Sun Syndicate is shipping to Tavis. The gas is called Travoris. Scary stuff. One canister can cover a square kilometer, with 100% fatality inside of 10 minutes. Do we have any way to safely deal with this stuff? Lucky for us, it's pretty easy to neutralize Travoris, at least while it's still in the canisters. The compound in this bottle renders Travoris completely inert on contact. Just plug it into the canisters inside the Black Sun base, and the whole batch is history. That sounds easy enough. Uh, yeah, but you'll have to shoot your way past Black Sun's toughest enforcers to do it. You also have another objective. A few hours ago, a bright red case was moved into the Black Sun space under heavy guard. If whatever's inside that case is valuable to Black Sun, it's bad news for us. So your job will be to find the case and bring me its contents. Consider it done. One last detail. Black Sun has signal jammers throughout their base, so General Garza won't know to send help if you get in over your head. Is there any way to shut down the jammers? No. The jammers are built into the walls of the hideout. It would take hours to bore them all out and trash them. Once you've taken care of the Travoris canisters and nabbed whatever's inside that red case, be sure to meet me back here to confirm the mission results. Good luck, Lieutenant. Hey, you're back. Was the op a success? 
Were you able to neutralize the Travoras? Mission complete. How about that red case? Were you able to grab whatever was inside? The case contained this blaster, Sergeant. I've never seen one quite like it. Must be some sort of new prototype. I'll take it back to headquarters for analysis. Maybe we can find out where Black Sun is getting their weapons. Guess we're through here then. It's been fun, Lieutenant. I hope we get to run together again sometime. I'll be sure to put your name forward the next time I need backup. Sounds good to me. See you later. Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. A situation has developed with the Senate, and I need your help. What can I do to help, sir? Despite my best efforts, three members of the Senate Defense Committee have learned about Havoc Squad's defection, and they want to know the specifics. It's an informal inquiry for the time being, but you can bet it won't end there. I hate politics. The Senate represents the people. It's our duty to aid them. That's all well and good, Lieutenant. But every moment we waste on questions is a moment Tavis and his traitors have to prepare for us. The Senators have asked that you appear in their office at the Senate Tower immediately to testify in the inquiry. I am barred from influencing your testimony, but I will remind you that the more information that becomes public, the harder our job becomes. Are you telling me to lie to the Senate, General? I never told you to lie, Lieutenant. That would be illegal. I have merely reminded you of a relevant fact. The Senators are already waiting for you. Hurry back to the Senate Tower and try to get this over with quickly. Garza out. As if we didn't have enough problems already. Lieutenant, make yourself comfortable. On behalf of the Senate of the Galactic Republic, I want to thank you for appearing on such short notice for this informal inquiry. I'm at your service, Senators. I assure you, we will not hold you from your duties any longer than necessary, Lieutenant. The purpose of this inquiry is to investigate the defection of several members of Republic Army Special Forces Squad Number 326, codenamed Havoc Squad, to the Sith Empire. Now, you recently served in Havoc Squad on Ord Mantell, Lieutenant. Is that correct? That's right, Senator. While serving on Ord Mantell, all of the members of Havoc Squad, excluding yourself, defected to the Sith Empire. Is that correct? I do not recall the events you described, Senator. Is that so? Our sources tell us that not only were you present at the time of the defections, you were in fact the one who discovered them. General Vander's reports on the incident were frustratingly vague, and you apparently share his need to conceal the truth. Please, we're only trying to discover the truth. If critical members of the Republic Armed Forces have defected, we'll need to take proper precautions. Now, did Commander Tavis or any of the other members of Havoc Squad show signs of, say, instability, anger, frustration? I don't believe there were any such signs, Senator. Lieutenant, let us speak hypothetically. Do you believe that anyone serving on Ord Mantell should have seen the situation coming? I don't think anyone could have seen this coming, sir. Commander Tavis and the others must have been quite subtle indeed. I have one final question, Lieutenant. What connection, if any, exists between the events that occurred on Ando Prime and Havoc Squad's decision to defect? Senator, I would remind you that the circumstances of Ando Prime are classified and occurred before the Lieutenant's involvement in Havoc Squad. You may ignore that question, Lieutenant. As you wish, Senator. Your part in this inquiry is concluded. You may return to your duties now. Goodbye, Lieutenant. It's good you've arrived, Lieutenant. We have a great deal to discuss. First, let me congratulate you for your work on the Black Sun operation. You did well disabling that nerve gas. Also, that prototype blaster you confiscated will teach us a great deal about the Black Sun sources. Glad to be of service. And whatever you hope to achieve with your Senate testimony, you certainly didn't make my job any easier. This isn't about making your job easy, General. The easier my job is, the easier your job is, Lieutenant. Try to keep that in mind. On to more pressing issues. My agents have discovered a vital new link to Havoc Squad here on Coruscant. Jack Carden, the founder of Havoc Squad and Commander Tavis's former mentor, has been spotted on the city's lower levels. He's serving as an officer in a local vigilante group. Is Carden tied in with the defection, General? Carden resigned his commission and disappeared after the debacle on Ando Prime. If he's turned up now, it can't be a coincidence. Tavis told me that Ando Prime was the reason for Havoc's defection. What happened on that planet? 
We sent Havoc to Ando Prime to cut off an Imperial offensive, but the enemy numbers were much bigger than Intel had led us to believe. When we tried to dispatch an extraction team, the Senate shut down the entire operation. We were causing an incident and breaching the peace. <sighs> Bureaucrats. Havoc was left with no support and no way home, but in spite of insurmountable odds, Cardin led Havoc out of there alive. Havoc's squad really was betrayed by the Senate. They were put in a terrible situation, Lieutenant, but that doesn't excuse their actions. Cardin resigned as soon as he learned the truth, and Tavis took over the squad. They were never quite the same. What is important now is that we've discovered Jack Cardin's location. I want you to bring him in at all costs. I'll take care of it. The vigilante group Cardin is working with is called the Justicar's Brigade. They control a large area of Coruscant's lower levels and are openly hostile to all outsiders. Why do we tolerate these hostile groups here on Coruscant? Most areas are safe. These sectors are the last pockets of lawlessness, aftermath of the Imperial attack. Our surveillance shows that Cardin spends most of his time in the Justicar's main base. You will attempt to capture him there. Cardin is a crucial link to Tavis and the rest of the Havoc traders, Lieutenant. Bring him in no matter what it takes. I'll have Cardin back here on the double, sir. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. Dismissed. You listen to me, Cardin. Helping you has already put my operation at risk. You will do exactly as I say, when I say, or... Or you'll what, Captain? I'm not one of your lock-stepping drones. This part of the op is mine. End of discussion. How dare you! Intruders! Put those blasters on the floor, soldiers. Nice and slow. In the name of the Republic, I order you to surrender. It's over, Cardin. You, the imps, Tavis, you're all going down. Not gonna happen, soldier. Now drop that weapon before... Havoc Badge. Is this a joke? No, no. You must be the new recruit Tavis told me about. So you survived after all. Can't say I'm surprised, honestly. Havoc always did recruit the best. Surrender and this will all go much easier for you. You are a persistent soldier, I'll give you that. I'm impressed. I didn't think the old lady would send someone after me so quickly. After all these years, Garza still hasn't lost her edge. What are you waiting for, Cardin? Kill the whelp! Or do you lack the true resolve to fight for the Empire? My loyalty is to Tavis, not to your Empire and not to anyone else. You want the trooper dead? You take care of it. I don't kill good soldiers. I'm heading down to the works to make sure everything is prepped. You aren't going anywhere. Do yourself a favor and die now, soldier, before you get in any deeper over your head. Open fire, men! Come in, Lieutenant. Is it my imagination, or were those Imperial soldiers you just fought? No mistake, sir. These were Imperial commandos. Imperial soldiers in uniform operating on the lower levels of Coruscant, and Republic security knows nothing about it? Incredible. We need to learn more about this link between the Justicars and the Empire. If they're hosting our enemies, they might have some useful information for us. Shouldn't I be chasing Cardin, sir? We need to know where exactly Cardin has gone before you can pursue him. All the more reason to search the Justicar base for information. Surveillance shows that the Justicars have their primary computer terminal in that base. Find the necessary access card and activate that computer terminal. My technicians can then slice in and uncover everything the Justicars and Imperials have been up to. I'll take care of this immediately. Good. Garza out. Good work, Lieutenant. My technicians are accessing the Justicar files now. Patrol schedules, supply manifests, prisoner records... Ah. Card and you. I think we've found what we're looking for, Lieutenant. You have a new target. Just tell me who and where. Cardin had the Justicars work with the Imperials to hijack and rebuild an abandoned Republic communications relay, down in an industrial area called the Works. Apparently Tavis and his followers are using this relay to route all of their interplanetary communications. If we destroy it, the traitors will be completely cut off from one another. Why would the traitors depend on equipment like this? They obviously can't rely on Republic channels, and Imperial frequencies would be useless because we could trace their source. 
Davis and his followers need this relay to keep us from overhearing their comm traffic. It's critical to their operations, which makes destroying it critical to ours. I'm sending Sergeant Mathen to bring you the explosives. You'll need to destroy the relay. He'll rendezvous with you shortly. I'll meet up with Sergeant Mathen ASAP. One last thing. Cardin didn't seem to mesh with the Imperials. I don't think he's as convinced of their supremacy as his protégés are. You're sure to find him guarding that con relay. Kill him if you have to, Lieutenant, but try to persuade him to surrender peacefully first. I'll give it my best shot, General. Please do, Lieutenant. Cardin's only concern is the safety of the former Havoc members. He may not be loyal to us, but he isn't loyal to the Empire either. Convince him that it's in the best interest of Tavis and the others for him to surrender. That's the best way to sway him. Sounds like a plan, General. Cardin could help us convince everyone to surrender peaceably. Make him see that. Otherwise, we're only going to kill them all. Now, hurry and rendezvous with Sergeant Mathen. You'll need those explosives, regardless of what happens with Cardin. Good luck. Garza out. Hey there, LT. Sergeant Mathen reporting for duty with fun toys in tow, sir. Let's see what you got for me. First item of business is your detonator, sir. A Zerka Arms 53R high-yield thermite explosive. Guaranteed to get a party started. Or ended. That'll be perfect. Now, the comm relay you're going after is in the works. An industrial area on the lower levels of Coruscant. It's a dangerous place, LT. Besides the Imperials, you're bound to find. The rogue service droids down there will squash anyone they can get their big metal claws around. Thanks for the warning, Sergeant. Just doing my job, LT. Once you've made your way to the relay, plant that detonator on the generator coupling at the center and clear out of there before it goes off. That's all there is to it, LT. I won't hold you up any longer. Good luck.